There are growing calls from First Nations people across the country for the Prime Minister to meet with Ottawa Piscat Chief Teresa Spence. Spence is entering the third week of a hunger strike. She says it's an effort to draw attention to the plight of some First Nations communities in Canada. As Jacques Prevot tells us, her supporters have also now started a blockade in an effort to have their voices heard. They're part of the Idle No More protests, and for the past four days, they've achieved their goal to idle CN freight trains. The protesters from the Anjanong First Nation in Sarnia, Ontario, have set up camp and are blockading a CN rail line. The protesters plan to stay here until Prime Minister Stephen Harper meets with Ottawapiskat Chief Teresa Spence. Yeah, okay, I'm not here to argue. To I know, but she doesn't want no cameras. That's what she said. The woman they're supporting didn't want to talk to the media today. Reporters were blocked as Spence returned to her teepee after spending most of the day at an Ottawa hotel, spending time with her family. Spence, who was on the 14th day of her hunger strike, also refused to meet with Conservative Senator Patrick Brazo in Algonquin. Spence may not be talking, but her supporters are increasingly vocal. In Vancouver, hundreds of people attended a rally yesterday. They want more of a say in what happens to their land and resources. But what we see today breaks our laws. Stephen Harper and his government, they have no respect for our lands and our territories or our people. They're treating everyone like Indians now. We want our independence. We don't want the way things are today. We're standing up as a nation and, and we're saying no more. And at an Ottawa shopping mall late this afternoon, a First Nations flash mob banged drums and chanted for surprise shoppers. A holiday message that's laced with anger and frustration. Jopper Bowe, Global News, Ottawa.